Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, what we're doing today is a shower installation. So we've got a fit. Well, I think the plumbers are going there and doing the pipe, and I think they're fitting the shower to the wall, but we've got a fit a 10.8 kilowatt shower. So we used a 10 mil to an unearth. It's very simple. Oh, bear with me, sir. My daughter just wanted to FaceTime me to tell me she wants a McDonald's at 10 past eight in the morning. You want to go to McDonald's already for breakfast? <sighs> anyway, kids. So what we are doing, Adam's going to go and get a uh, with wholesalers, local wholesalers to me, a Crabtree round pull cord, shower pull cord, because I think they're rated to 60 amp. I could be wrong. I'll, I'll double check that. But we've got two options because the airing cupboard is where the fuse board is, which is literally directly next to the bathroom. We're tempted just to do a surface uh, double pole, uh, double plated isolation switch in there. Uh, make life a bit easier without pool cords flying around in the bathroom all the time but we'll grab that we'll jump to the job and i'll sort of show you run you around what it is but it's fairly simple but we've not done one of these a video yet so uh, here we go right so this is what i meant between normal double iso or, that was loud the crab tree round pool cord that allows you to do some extra stuff but I just spoke to the customer and we're going to stick it in the airing cord because he doesn't really want another pool cord this is what's happened when you finish work at eight o'clock at night <laughs> That's rubbish, that's rubbish. Work mats. Oh, sorry? And to hit a speed on. Oh, speed on. oh yeah, so last night we went to go see a job in Sandbatch. I just fell off then. It was a little pebble. Went to go see a job in Sandbatch and as we're on the way back, it was a 60 roads on the lane and out of nowhere there was a bump in the road and we absolutely took off. But I was on the phone to a customer so I couldn't go, Wah! and then as we're slowing down we then hit another one and yeah, the van's fine but it was a bit of a worry. I'm going to fill that up in here, a bit of filler. We're going to try and sink the cable in the wall. We've got our cable, so yeah, run you inside. So 10.8 kilowatt shower, put some mats down. Shower's going to go on the wall in here. We are going to try and get the cable in the wall. That's the plan. It's dabbed wall. We might have to cut a section just at the top. We've got some filler. The plumbers are really going to come and make a mess anyway. How many of you guys actually buy? actually buy 10 mil on a drum because we just normally buy 20 meter bits on coils because it's just too heavy to carry around. Adam won't be able to pick it up. Takes the board. The board is in here. It's been rewired recently in 2000, what this year? All surface stuff. I think that's a local guy to us. He's a good guy. What we're going to do is look at this. Nicely done. We'd like to see. Isolation switch here for the shower. We'll label that up as well. We've got a 40 amp to go on the RCD side here. And uh, yeah, should be pretty good. So we're gonna notch a hole there, stick that on. Adam's gonna go up. He's got the loft hatch already open over there. Say hi to Adam, Adam, hi. And drop it down. So I'm gonna concentrate on the shower. I'm gonna fit the shower now, get that on, find our route up, stick a rod up. And then I think you wanna just start putting the isolation switch in here. Yeah. So. What we're doing here, there's a shower screen going to be going in, so we want to make sure we're on the edge of the bath. I've done it normally to my chest height, but we've done a little pencil mark there, and I'm going to get a level mark out the top. By tapping it, we can find out it's quite hollow. As much as I'd like to record myself doing this, he's busy, and I don't have a cameraman yet. Yet! <laughs> so uh, we knock that out, see how far we can get up with a rod, measure that out, chop that out, get a rod into the loft and hopefully meet up with Adam in a second. I do normally. Also, how do you lot work in the heat? It's what, not even nine o'clock, I'm dripping, you're about to go in the loft with a mask, with some shorts on, so you're gonna get all sticky sticky. Yeah, uh, so this is what we've done. Done a channel that'll all be hidden behind the shower, but I am gonna stick the bits of plaster back in, just so we can get a channel behind in the dab. But same up there, we'll put a bit of filler in. And now comes the, the question of, when I do this and put my cable in, the plumbers are going to be coming back and then putting pipes in. So whether or not we're going to undo all our hard work, but we got here first, unfortunately. It's one of them now. If we were both here at the same time, we could have worked together, but we're booked in separately. So it is what it is, isn't it, really? There's not a lot I can do different to what we're doing now, unless everything was running surface, but the customer wants it in the wall. So uh, I'm going to feed the cable up. We've done a little notch out there in the ceiling for Adam to grab it. I think we're better off just starting from here yeah. and Bring you just back. drag it back yeah. to here. You can see the cables all in the loft. Adam's going to clip it. Oh god, I'm so sweaty. Um, Adam's going to clip it across, drop it down. You've done the isolation switch, so we'll just jump, jump through in stages as and when we can. 
other thing, what we've managed to do, so normally I like to put oval capping on stuff with limited to space here to run through my very small understanding of the regulations. If we, I, you don't have to put capping on. You never had to put capping, metal capping or plastic capping. We like to, I and mean, some people wonder why, is to protect it from the plasterers, to protect it from the plaster itself when it's being plastered over, trowels, that sort of stuff. Sometimes the way we run stuff in on rewires, we should be able to be able to pull new cables through if we have to, if anything is damaged. Like I've said before, what Luke's done on his videos, my trust electrician, is physically use 20 mil conduit, 25 mil, and push and coupler it directly into the patrices or to the metal KO boxes as some people want to call them. So it's literally a clear run that you can pull through, it's all attached. I think at the next rewire I'm going to do that. But for here, regulation states if it's less than 50 mil in the wall, it's covered by an RCD, it's okay. Which this is obviously less than 50 mil in the wall because we're onto the block. The finished wall will be plastered and patched up as the best we can. It's going to be redecorated, the customer's already said so, because it had a surface rewire at some point, you can see from the extractor event pull cord I'm not sure what that was but uh, the whole place has been newly rewired as you saw from being in the video all in trunking nothing wrong with it that's what is given from spec wise from the customer uh, we can just do what we've got to do with the best that made no sense you know what I mean uh, Adam's just grabbing a mask and then he's gonna nip up in the loft we should be able to pull it down this isn't gonna take too long we're gonna measure the board up on the wall now get a few fixings in um, we're not going to connect it up, we're going to do all our test, but I'm going to leave it disconnected from the board for when the plumber comes and once he's done his bit, I can nip round back, turn it back on and uh, away we go. Any last words mate? Uh, use flexi card. You <laughs> use flexi card. Do you know, <laughs> he's just rang me as he went to the van, which is like just outside. And he said, uh, so have we got any oval, have we got anything in the van we can fit in there? He says, we've got some flexi conjure, that'll annoy everyone. So it's not just me, it is him. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling, feeding this up as Adam's pulling it up and over. It's literally just going across to there. I'm gonna find the nearest beam to clip it onto and then peg it down into the fuse board. So here, we've just taken out all the knockouts on the side of this. We've actually got the malleable one because this one's the rigid one. But we got the wrong one from the wholesaler. I'm gonna mark this out here, cut the side of this out. We can use the D-line clips that they've used. So we'll literally just feed, load in, load out, take this one off, poke it in the board. What we're gonna do, what we've just said, is wire it up in the board, test it, do everything we need to do. I'm just gonna unwire it and stick some big uh, ideal push connectors on just for the time being so we know we can't be turned on. Here he is, mask on, uni light in hand, going through. So that's the bathroom. Just shine your torch over there a sec, mate. So we just pulled that big run out of the way. It looks messy for now, but it will be pulled flat. Drop that down, and you've got a cross member you're gonna nail onto the side too, yeah? Yeah, I think, yeah. So this is what it looks like, done my holes. There is plugs in here, but we've just pushed them further into the block and we've got some bigger screws, so that's nice in there, the size of the screws we're using. Put a bit of filler on, that's gonna be contained behind the shower, just thought it was good practice. Put a bit up there, it's gonna be sanded down, just paint it over, you should be able to see that again. Got enough of a bend here, and then I'm just gonna go and do the isolation switch, just had a bit of a Tell you, these work mats are awesome by the way, guys. Bundy 10, Rhino Trade Insurance, hang on, this backwards. Yeah, wait there, wait there. Oh, he's here. He's here. Boom. Wait there, zoom in. No, people don't like the zoom because it makes less noise. <laughs> he's now on the wall, threaded in. So the sweep up and a tidy up, sweep up, don't sweep up. Hoover up, throw some stuff, put the board cover on after we've finished. Adams. How hot is that cupboard, mate? Pretty warm. It's very warm. What is it already? Yesterday was, hang on. Yesterday was 31 degrees. Luckily we had aircon, but uh, when you got a sweet, when you have a shave, you got a sweaty top lip. Great fun. Luckily Adam would go in the loft for me. Cheers, mate. Right, now comes the sponsored part. So Tradify, thank you very much for watching the video. To you guys that all watch my videos will know what Tradify is. It's a job management app. Um, which I've got open at the moment, but I can't show you too much because of my customer details. So one cool thing recently, because I've jumped across from uh, zero to QuickBooks on my accounting software, because it's all interlinked with Tradify, so all my invoices, all my VAT, all the links across then to uh, QuickBooks, which then my accountant all does, uh, but I needed to transfer it across, and I forgot how good the support was for Tradify, so they have always have a permanent uh, live chat that you can get hold of, they always answer the phone, 
Um, on top of it as well, they also have a Facebook community support. So any questions or queries or all the people that use Tradeify over the world are all on this Facebook group. And they're all on about tips or tricks to help improve the software, anything that we could change, or just literally tips and tricks with help. So um, if there's any tips or tricks that you guys that actually use that want to know, let me know below and I can uh, do a video on it at some point or put you in the right direction for it. Uh, it's very helpful, very useful, very time saving. Uh, I'll put the links below, so Tradeify, go check them out. Thank you very much. Oh, we're never here. Shower ISO, it's not wired in, put it in the board, put a sticker on it, we put the breaker in, but it's not in there. We've done our dead tests and we've already spoke to the plumbers, the firm that are coming over, and they're not going to touch it. I'm not connecting it up. Worst case scenario is they want to move the shower over a little bit, want to run pipes in, but we're going to come at the very end, connect up, do our final live tests, and then job's good. Anything you want to say, mate? Other than no. it's really hot in this tiny little cupboard. Yeah. I'm going to make you stay in there a bit longer. No, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.